It is dawn right now, five in the morning, and I'm about to go up in the attic again to spread some of this fiberglass insulation around there. I got about half of it spread, and man, working underneath the eaves, trying to support myself on the joists, and hitting my head against the roof with the roofing nails sticking out, that was just new heights of misery. So I invented a new tool, which I'm about to try out, it's just a sort of a, a rake. It's got four pins sticking out at the end. And it's a long broom handle. And I hope that will be useful for positioning those bats without having to crawl into the very corners and hitting my head. I was rather pleased that this rake worked pretty much as designed. It was a little bit of a challenge lifting up the electrical wires to put the bats underneath them. Fortunately, these wires had not been fastened down, so it was relatively easy to do. I know blown in insulation is usually what's used in an attic and it is cheaper but you have to rent a special machine to spread it around with and you also risk uh, blocking off the area underneath the eaves with that insulation but uh, with these fiberglass bats I don't have to worry about overspilling by accident. Now I have to say using this rake to spread the insulation is still a very miserable job but it is quite a bit less miserable than it was without so this tool is actually a success. Now we're not planning on heating or cooling this garage at all, but uh, just having insulation in the attic prevents the garage from heating up too much in the summer and from getting quite as cold in the winter. My European viewers will of course observe how badly this attic is constructed compared to what they have, but uh, as they already know, everything is better in Europe. And they're all done spreading the insulation in the garage. It's about 750 square feet worth, or about 67 square meters. Take that, you Europeans. I just finished up, and now it's 6 in the morning, and the sun is starting to come up. So I finished just in time, because when the sun hits the roof, it gets really hot up there. And this invention worked really well. The only thing I would change is maybe I would put six spikes in the end instead of four. And the handle is a bit on the long side. That was awkward to maneuver with and I didn't need the full length.